Hello Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. If you're joining us for the first time, we want to thank you for watching our videos. For those of you who've been following our channel the past couple of years, you will notice we focus on informative and educating content within the African continent. Today we are looking at one of Africa's beautiful capital that was in the news for the past couple of decades for some other reasons. But today, we want to shape this capital from a different perspective. And more importantly, we will align the reason why this capital's transformation and the make up of this capital, why it transcends Africa's history. More importantly as well, we will lay down the reason why this capital is an African microcosm. And also, we will close down this episode in talking to you why this country's capital is moving to the right direction. So without any much delay, we shall just dive straight into it. We are talking here about the beautiful capital of Monrovia. Monrovia is the capital of Liberia as well as its largest city. It is located on the Bushroots Island and the Cape Masoredus along the Masoredus River. As of 2008 based on figures, there were about over 980,000 people living in Monrovia. Monrovia was founded as of April 25th, 1822 by members of the American Colonization Society. An organization created to uh, return US born former slaves to Africa. These representatives first arrived at the Masredo River in 1821. The original name of Monrovia was Christopolis. As of 1824, it was renamed Monrovia after James Monroe, who was the American uh, president at the time, as well as the supporter of the American Colonization Society. The indigenous population of the area surrounding Monrovia felt that the city was built on a stolen land and began attacking its own earlier as of 1822. These attacks continued sporadically until the mid-19th century. Monrovia's first settlers were former southerners slaves. Not surprisingly, the early architecture of the city was largely influenced by the style of the southern antebellum buildings. If you look at Monrovia, Monrovia grew slightly during the rest of the 19th century. After the Civil War, the American Colonization Society was taken over by, it, by the immigrationists such as the Edward Wilmot Winston and the Bishop Alexandra Cromwell. The urge post civil society, the war Africans Americans to settle there and also many of them did until World War I. The American Liberians, both those in the initial wave of settlements in 1822, as of 1848 as well, Liberia became independent that particular year. Those who came after the US Civil War, politically and also culturally, dominated the city. Looking at the different transformation that's post uh, World War II, growing numbers of indigenous people from the interiors of Liberia began migrating to the capital to exploit new jobs opportunities. Always present in the city back to its founding, by 1950 for the first time, they were the majority of the city's residents. As of 1980s, Sergeant Samuel Doe of the Liberian Army led a coup which toppled the existing government. For the first time, it is the history of Liberia was controlled by indigenous people rather than the American Liberians. Doe ruled autocratically, but when he was deposed in 1990, Liberia plunged into political chaos. The series of civil war both crippled Monrovia's economy and brought thousands of people into the capital, fleeing from the violence. The civil war ended in 2003 when dictator Charles Taylor was deposed. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Today, Monrovia is home to American Liberians indigenous people from the nation's interior and now thousands of refugees also uh, who actually fled from west africa at the time currently lives in this beautiful african capital civil war such then at the neighboring countries that affected moravia in different ways approximately 85 percent of the city's population is made up of christians and over 12 percent made up of muslims 
in the site of the University of Liberia and also three small religious colleges, the University's Methodist University and also the African Methodist Episcopal University and the Stella Morris Polytechnic, a Catholic institution. Monrovia has transformed. The country's capital is looking at a different perspective. Monrovia has gone through a lot and have its own challenges, but it's an African capital that keeps struggling to move to also become well known in the positive aspect. Monrovia's economy is based on trade. The port of Monrovia is the largest artificial harbor in West Africa. Ships rubber, iron ore, coffee, cocoa, rubber and also timber from the Liberian's interior to the rest of the world. Monrovia's major industries include things like rubber and palm oil processing, food products and also furniture and chemicals. Those industries, however, employ a relatively small number of workers. Most residents of Monrovia lack a stable, un stable employment, so they point out, and about 80% of the population also has challenges in terms of the economic and also in the poverty line. However, the government is working hard to transform the capital city to also make it in par with other African cities within the region and also in the African continent. If you are new to Edisplora, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Monrovia has seen a lot of challenges, especially during the Ebola period. The capital also worked hard to also resurface itself and also represent the country from different perspectives. For those of you who have been to uh, Monrovia, we would like to know what you felt and what attracts you to this city. Monrovia does have international businesses, international organizations that are also spread across this beautiful African capital. You do also have other economic activities that live there. More international experts move to Monrovia. You do have some infrastructural development and also huge economic investment that are currently ongoing in Monrovia. Monrovia does have its own challenges like any other African capital. However, we all know that this country has been through a lot and in particular this capital moving from a different transition from first Doe and then to Charles Taylor and to Len Johnson Sally and later on uh, moved to uh, now uh, George Ware. Uh, we all seen that there is a transition. Of course, there are always challenges that are affecting some of these African beautiful capitals. But again, we all are looking to see post COVID-19 how Monrovia leading the economy of Liberia and to see how it's going to move the country to a different direction. If you've been to Liberia, we would like to hear from you. If you've visited Monrovia in the past couple of weeks or months, we would like to know what was the transformative aspect. And if also you are coming from Liberia and you are from Monrovia, we would like to know why people should visit your capital. Again, we want to thank you for watching. We encourage you to check some other videos on our YouTube channel. We are looking forward to meeting you soon and please give us a like and thumbs up for this video if you find this information helpful. For now, I want to thank you. That's all what we got for you. We are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.